guys thank you so much for tuning in to today's video so for those that are new my name is Brittany I'm an artist designer and we are listening in today's video I want to share briefly my experience to uh, you know just put myself out there and ways that you can put yourself out there as an artist and it's really important that we all do because it'll help us grow so much and I know at first it gets really difficult because you don't know exactly what direction to go there's still times right now in my career to where I'm like okay how do I get there and uh, a little bit of that doubt pushes me back. But one thing that I started doing was just like believing in myself more and knowing that whatever I want in my life, I can manifest that if I work hard. And it's really hard, like I said in the beginning, because uh, you know we're all creating from our hearts. You know we're very sensitive about our work. So the fact that we're putting it out there for it to possibly be rejected is one of the reasons why we don't put ourselves out there as artists. And I know I'm not wrong because I've said this to myself. I've done this. I've experienced it. And at times I still do it to this day. But that's the number one reason to why we don't put ourselves out there because we're afraid of rejection. That I wanted to mention is that throughout your art career a lot of people that you do come into contact with whether you're showing at an ex exhibition or you're selling at flea markets artist markets etc they're not going to there's not going to be a lot of people that are interested in your work but the most important thing right now for you is to keep going the fear of not being noticed and um you know the lack of sales you know in the beginning of my career as an artist i had made no sales at all whatsoever i had quit my job for about um well i had quit my job and a few months later i kid you not you guys i only made one sale from a painting and i believe that was like 11 by 17 and i was so happy i was so elated because piece that i ever sold <laughs> so i felt that warmness and i felt like okay well if this keeps happening i'll feel happy but then the other part was like okay well if i don't then i obviously felt very def i felt defeated i felt uh doubtful about my career i felt like okay well maybe i should try doing something different instead of what i'm doing now because then not, not a lot of people are um buying from me or supporting me and you know, I'm, this is probably going to be another rant video, a rant video on its own because there's just so much that goes into believing in yourself and putting yourself out there as an artist. And I realize that at times when I put myself out there, um, you know, there, there's not much of like, like traffic or attention on it. So then I feel that, okay, well, since it's not getting enough traffic, maybe I should... Uh, change up my style a bit to what other people are doing oh but i realized that that's not what i generally love and what i like felt uh more inclined to do so just by doing that was really stressful and i decided okay this is it enough is enough you do what you want to do you create what you feel and i took that into uh, consideration i took it very seriously and i only created from what i felt from within which is the work that you guys see behind me these are all uh, paintings that i created based off of my intuition and uh, you know beforehand but i was creating just the things that obviously inspired me but i didn't really feel uh, connected to it so i didn't want to continue doing something just for the benefit uh, to make money which I will get back into another, which I will be talking about in another video. Um, but you know, the fact that I was creating based off like trendy art or um, what would sell, I realized that what worked for other people wouldn't have, wouldn't work for me, but I didn't know that at the time because in the beginning I was very, um, very naive. I would say I was very naive in that beginning stage and I was really desperate to be, to make money. Yeah, anything that I could even think of, I would just put on paper, sketch it, and then make it a reality. Uh, but yeah, it just, it, it was really detrimental to my uh, creative process. And, uh, you know, I took some time off and I decided to just like get on the job and, you know, work in between, um, you know, creation and, uh, building my portfolio because it's really important so I built my portfolio for about an entire year and I had you know put my work on social media I didn't see as much progress there um, at that point I felt better about my process because I was very into the process and not worrying about the money part of it so um, after you know building that body of work I started reaching out to other um, you know people and sharing my my story my journey as an artist and connecting with other people 
people and at first it was really hard for me to do because I am an extremely introverted person maybe it may not seem like I am introverted but in certain situations I am very shut off like I am very observant I rather just be in my own little corner I rather just stay in my studio all day and not interact with anyone at all whatsoever but how could how could I get myself out there if I'm not if I'm sitting here in the studio all day you, it just it won't work so in order to make those like genuine connections I had to reach out to people and meet up with them and, and you know share my story and overall create friendships that's just so important to me and uh, as a young girl I didn't really have that many friendships so I was very I guess like it was really very quiet quiet girl now I'm learning to be more open and vulnerable and even making this YouTube channel was out of my comfort zone i was scared as hell i didn't know where to go i thought i need all these extra fancy materials and equipment so yeah it took some time for me to get to this point right now talking in front of the camera it took a while just to let you guys know um but one thing i did was like okay if i want to grow as an artist if i want to continue to share my story and help other people i have to put myself out there no matter how difficult it may be there will be times where i'm in the studio and i will record 30 times over and over and over and over i'll be recording over and over and over and over and over and over and i would never get the video right but one thing that i would never do is give up so for example this exact moment this is probably my fifth tape of making a video because i kept messing up but i have the urge in me that passion to um keep trying is what um drives me what what keeps me going and you know i didn't get that feeling to just keep going or not give up for like a long time now and i'm just have i'm very happy that I am able to uh, be have that confidence within myself and know my worth enough to uh, do the things that I thought I would never do. And that's the most exciting part about putting yourself out there is that you just, you meet so many beautiful individuals and uh, you get to share your, uh, your gift with the world in a different way and your own way actually. And overall, you know, putting yourself out there, you'll bring forth so much more opportunity. Putting yourself out there, and I know it's scary at first because you literally have to be vulnerable, you have to be open. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you're going to get rejected numerous times. You'll contact people, or in terms of like, let's say if you wanna show your work at an exhibition or a gallery, not everyone is going to say yes. There's going to be a lot of no's before you get that yes, but you have to be willing to uh, continue creating and putting yourself out there and not be afraid to uh, be open and share your story. So you have to be very open and trust the process. And one thing that I also wanted to put in there, put one thing that I wanted to add is patience. You have to be patient and also be kind with yourself because this process is not going to be easy. But the last thing, the last thing you want to do is criticize yourself. I know we're all, we are our own worst critic. I am my worst critic. What, one thing that I'm learning as an artist is to not take things uh, too personal. Uh, you know, I'm realizing that not every interaction is going to be a successful interaction. There's going to be moments to where things just won't work out and that's just the way it is. That's the way it is and you have to accept it. So as long as you realize that you'll come a, f a long way as an artist and all in all, put yourself out there no matter how scary it is. Just do it, trust your gut, go for it, and you'll be the most happiest, and you'll feel more lighter, you'll feel more free when you do it. So that's all I had to say for today in this video. So thank you so much for tuning in to this video in the studio. I'm gonna make more of these. I really enjoy making these. These are my, these are my favorite. Um, but let me know what other topics you guys would like to hear more of. And yeah, that'll be it. So thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you soon, bye.